put your hands together for my friend, Jason Santiago. Keep it going for Richard, everybody. Keep, keep it going for every, all the comics that came up here tonight, man. I'm the last fucker, so you guys are good. I know a couple of you are looking at your watches like, how many more do we have to go? I got shit to do. It's all right. You're going to shut the fuck up throughout my whole entire set, right? <laughs> you a big ass motherfucker, bro. I tell you that shit. Like, his mother gave birth to him twice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good, though. We're good. We're, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a former vet myself, guys. Yeah, like, give it up for the guys, bro, over here. Give it up. 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 A lot of people say, like, you know, like, when people always say, oh, thank you for your service, thank you for your service. Like, what do you say to another service member? Like, I'm like, I'm sorry. You know, that's really... <laughs> right, fellas? Ladies, yeah? It's usually how it goes, so they fucking know. Shit, you guys finally showed up, man. Yeah. Fit in the stereotype. <laughs> Give them a round of applause, y'all. Yeah, yeah. You guys got kids? Yeah, where are they? You sure? <laughs> How many kids you guys got? I was just like, you had to look at each other to figure that shit out? Like, it's crazy. How you guys doing? You good? You look nervous as hell, bro. You good? You look like you're, I'm on my best behavior right now. I'm not gonna say anything to this guy. That's great, you guys are, are married? Mary, how long you guys been married? Four years? What's the best thing he's ever done for you? Oh, wasn't an orgasm? Okay, there you go. My daughter, all right. I could pop one of those out anytime, you know? Orgasm comes once in a blue moon, you know? Right, ladies? That's crazy. No, I'm fucking staying away from you guys. I feel good, I feel good, people like New Year, New Me, I lost 36 pounds, people, 36 pounds, yes. That was a lot for me because I smoke a lot of weed. I know like, like when Jorge was out here, he's like, how many people smoke weed? Like two people like clapped in the back. I was like, they're all fucking liars. They're all liars. There's probably a couple of cops in here and they smoke too, it's all right. If I was a cop, I would have to smoke with all the bullshit that I would deal with. I'm like, you know what your dumbass was doing? <laughs> it's crazy shit, man. You gotta be careful though, because like every job can't like smoke weed. You know what I mean? Like, if, like imagine you go like, you know, want to get like your gallbladder removed and shit. This is, you don't want to hear <laughs> scalpel. <laughs> Am I alone on that shit, you know what I mean? Or even that too, like, and I wish that we could see we had a line of sight to what our doctor's grade point average was in school. Because I always seem to get the D student motherfuckers, bro. And I'm like, what did you just say to me, doctor? I'm like, listen, I'm a man, you understand that, right? Why are you giving me estrogen shit? Like, I don't understand what's going on. I forget, I got him on a vasectomy. Anybody ever had a vasectomy before? All right, you guys are proud to say that shit, yeah. And if you ever had one, you would be proud too. When I went to my consultation, like he was cool, the doctor was like, hey, you wanna make sure this is what you wanna do because I'm gonna cut and cauterize and all this other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, I got five kids. Doc, I mean, three of them are biological, and I got two adopted, but I'm not trying to have any more, you know? That's it. So he got all, like, he was like on one of those like rolling stools and whatnot or whatever. And he says, all right, well, let's take a look. And he like wheeled himself over to the light and turned it off. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. You need to take me out first, sir. I, I don't even know what that was about. He's like, I just want to shine the light bulb on your freaking balls. And I was like, she's never done anything like that before. Why would you, you know? So I let him, you know what I mean? So it was crazy. Crazy, crazy constant. But yeah, man, freaking like losing weight and everything has been a little bit of a struggle. I was a fat kid growing up. Anybody was a fat kid growing up? Yeah, yeah all right. I, I love an honest crowd. Yeah, so all the skinny kids that used to fuck with us are not in this room right now. That's good. Like being a fat, like I was that fat kid that you can hear breathe whether I was awake or asleep. You know, like, 
Jay, you just walked two steps, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what are we doing now? We're gonna play hide and seek. <laughs> really? <laughs> Playing hide and seek as a fat kid sucks. I'm gonna tell you right now, skinny people, there's no more anxiety when you're playing freaking hide and seek as a fat kid than the first five seconds in the countdown, all right? Cause you get the 10, nine. I'm like, fuck. Freaking dumbass, freaking, freaking skinny kids. Come on, Jay, come hide with me underneath the bed. You know my fat ass can't freaking fit underneath the bed. I was wrong with you. You can see my feet and my belly, and that's it. Tag, you're it. Man, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. I'll be right there. Good shit, man. Freaking my mom. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican, y'all. So, oh, you Puerto Rican too? Hell yeah. I'm... What happened? Hell yeah, we're proud. And we're loud, absolutely. <laughs> and obviously speak out of turn. You know what I mean? So. It's all good. Now I understand why you're sitting in the posture you're sitting in right now, sir. I'm gonna put you on the church prayer list. I got you, dog. Just give me a wink. We good. I'll sneak you away in my car. She'll never know. I know there's a lot of white people in here, so just in case you're confused between a Puerto Rican and a Mexican. We're like we're Mexican, just with citizenship. Really, that's... We're good? All right, good. <laughs> Gotta make sure. So my mother, you know, as, you know, as, a, as a Latina, you know, her mom, she's always like, hey, or I can say any mom at that point, we're always trying to feed you, always trying to feed me. And I was losing weight, and she's like, oh my God, mijo, what's wrong? Are you okay? Do we need to talk? <laughs> she wanted to schedule an intervention. I'm like, mom, I'm just trying to get healthy. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> and my mom takes edibles, people, all right? Before you go judging my mom, all right? She takes edibles because she's got a pain condition called fibromyalgia, all right? It's a pain condition, so she don't want to take like opioids and like screw her life up, but she takes some really strong edibles, people, and the peer pressure with my mom is real. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Every time I go over her house, she's like, come on, you gotta try this. I'm like, ma, no. I went over her house last week, and she says, papi, I got this new edible. I'm like, mommy, and she was like, it's a cookie. I went, oh because my inner fat kid came out, you know? <laughs> I was listening, she had my attention. She gave me a, a gourmet chocolate chip cookie. She came out, she handed it to me, she said, like, I'll be right back. I'm looking at that, I'm holding it, my hand started to shake. <laughs> and I was like, Jay, you just lost 26 pounds, dog. <laughs> Fuck it, <laughs> ate it, ate it, delicious. She came back with a knife and she goes, Where's the cookie? <laughs> and I'm like, my bad, ma, I ate it. And my mom went, uh-oh. <laughs> ma, what do you mean, uh-oh? She said, well, Bobby, that was a thousand milligram cookie that you ate right there. <laughs> People, my whole life flashed before my eyes. I was like, a thousand milligrams? That sounds like a lot, ma, what does that mean? A thousand milligrams? She's like, stop, you'll be fine. She says, listen, I need to go to Fry's and get some groceries. Why don't you come with me? Oh, no. Nope. Um, I don't think I should be out in public right now. She's like, stop it, you're being silly. We're fine. Let's go. So we go, right? And so, like, as a son, like, my job is what? To pull the shopping cart around, right? I'm pulling that motherfucker around, and all of a sudden, like, my legs started getting heavy. I'm drifting towards the cereal aisle and the cookie aisle. And I said, ah, this is starting to hit me hard. And my mom G'd up. She said, stop, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing yourself. I was like, oh shit, all right. She said, go get some milk. I'm gonna go to the vegetable aisle. We'll meet right back here at the register. All right, bet. People, I don't care how old you are. When you lose your mother at the supermarket, you heard my dizzy ass yelling down every aisle. Ah! <laughs> Freaking called the attention of the security guard. The security guy came up to me, he was like, hey buddy, you all right? I lost my mom. He said, it's all right, all right. What was she wearing? I don't know, she gave me a cookie. 
He took me by the hand, brought me back to the security desk, sat me down in the chair, gave me a lollipop. I knew shit was getting real when I heard over the loudspeaker, Attention customers, with the mother of the 49-year-old, please call the security desk. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna start snitching on my mom right now. I'm like, excuse me, Mr. Officer, rent a cop, sir. I'm Latino, you ever heard of the word chancla? She used to beat the shit out of me. I dropped my pants, I'm like, look at all the scars that she used to give me. They wanted to call CPS, but again, I'm 49 years old, people. But I love my mom, it's crazy shit, for him. Love her, love her, love her. I'm, I'm single again, man. You can go ahead and clap for her, please clap for her, thank you. I got out of a horrible relationship. I was, I was in a toxic relationship. Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Go ahead and clap. And if you're not clapping, you're probably sitting next to that motherfucker right now. And just like him, I can get you out of here. It's all right. But no, it's crazy because uh, like, you know, I like my, my female friend, she's like, you know, like, oh my God, that toxic dick, that toxic dick, you can't, gotta stay away from it. I'm like, there's that toxic pussy too. You gotta be careful. <laughs> like, if you don't know you're a toxic, if you think you're the main squeeze, but you're sharing a Netflix account with another motherfucker, you are not the main squeeze. I was like, I need to change my life and get shit going around. So I jumped back on the dating apps. I know the other comments are talking about dating apps. I'm gonna tell you what my experience was. So I don't like reading profiles because reading is frustrating for me, right? Yeah. A couple of people said, yeah, too, all right. We get hooked on phonics and Rosetta, Rosetta Stone together. It's all right. I'm there and I'm swiping left, I'm swiping right. And I accidentally swipe right on a transgender person. Nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it, because she was beautiful, you have no idea. I didn't know she was transgender till we actually met. And I'm from the Bronx, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to be all suave, I'm like, hey, I'm like, how you doing, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, my name is Jason. She said, hi, I'm Christine. <laughs> and I went, oh shit. <laughs> we have a little bit of dilemma here. Because in this scenario, who pays for dinner? <laughs> so I asked her, and she said, whoever has the bigger dick. So she paid, you know what I'm saying? So, and fuck y'all, don't judge me, all right? Don't judge me at all, man. It's crazy, man, it's crazy. Dang, I'm like, shit, I'm like, you can't go back to the old school, like where you just go over to a bar and just meet somebody. No, you can't even do that, man. You can't even like sit in a freaking table with someone and have a freaking conversation. Like if you ever go, look, couples, if you go to like some place, go to dinner, look at the other couples. Everybody's on their phone. Like that's what's wrong with this world right now. You know, we're all like heavily engrossed into our phones. But if you have an ugly significant other, I totally understand that shit, all right? So it's, so it's a good. And again, if you're sitting next to that motherfucker right now, it's all right. So if you're not laughing, it's okay. It's okay. Like I said, I just turned 49 in February, and I, I, I was trying to call, I got excited over that, all right. You please talk to me after the show. <laughs> feel, make me feel good about myself. But I'm just like, you know, I'm like, yeah, like, you know, turned 49 years old, like, I, I lived a pretty clean life, like, growing up, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna start doing all the funky shit that all these kids are doing. And so I tried Molly for the first time, people. Let me roll it back a little bit. So, I was dating this younger chick for quite some time. And fellas, if you're over 40, do not date younger women unless you have a lot of PTO. <laughs> and for those people that don't have a job, that means paid time off. <laughs> because they will wear your old ass out. I had this way, and she was fine as hell. I'm telling you right now. We went out one night, and we went, like, we went, did the normal thing, went to dinner, went to the movies, and she says, all right, babe, what are we gonna do now? And I'm like, Shh, I'm taking your young ass home is what we're about to do. <laughs> oh, come on, girl, like, like, let's go, I wanna go dancing. Come on, let's go dancing. And I was like, all right, let's go. And I called my man freaking Will, and I, Will was dating a younger chick, and I was like, yo, my, yo, meet me at the spot, bring your girl, I got my girl, we're gonna do it, right? Bet, bet. <laughs> We get there, freaking hanging out. We like, ish, ish, ish. My girl runs up to me all excited. She goes, oh my God. She goes, have you ever tried Molly? 
And I didn't want to sound uncool, so I was like, because in my head, I'm like, who the fuck's Molly? You know what I mean? But I go, oh, yeah. She said, great, put it right in my mouth. She ran off. I took my phone out and I Googled what Molly was. And I said, oh shit, I was worried about an edible. This is gonna fuck my life up right now. So I sat down in the chair. And I'm like, you know what I said, 15, 20 minutes, you should feel it. And I'm like, 15, 20 minutes went by, and man, Molly ain't shit. <laughs> Woo! I was sitting there, the music sounded better. I sort of, and I accidentally touched my nipple. <laughs> and I kept touching my nipple for like 20 minutes, people. <laughs> and I was like, you can laugh at this, it's all right. It sounds like you want, it looks like you want to laugh at this more than you were doing it right now, but. And I was like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I started talking shit to it too. I was like, you like that shit, right? You like it? You want to feel how it feels with the left hand? I went to the bathroom, everything was getting love. I walked into the bathroom and I was like, you're an old. Mm, you're so white and pasty. I was hot from the molly, so I started splashing water in my face and shit. Again, don't fucking judge me, people, all right? Freaking, I told my friend about the experience. He's like, yo, would you try that shit again? I'm like, would I try it again? Mm, yes, the fuck I would, people. Yes, I would, yes, I would. It was an amazing experience. So I'm like, I'm just trying to, you know, try new shit. It's probably gonna kill me. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But at least I'm gonna go out with a smile, all right? It's good, you guys are good? Yeah, you're having this, the same posture as this guy right here. You guys are good? Are you guys in trouble? Like, did you guys fuck up today? Like, what happened? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's only Thursday. Like, you did, it's not like you, like, stayed out late on a Friday or nothing like that. But you're good? Did you get your permission, you got your permission slips lines? You did too? You good? All right, you know what? You're worrying me a little bit. Because I've seen narcos, okay? You might be part of the cartel, all right? I just, it's all right. I was English. Give me one of these. You probably own an AR-15, so I'm not gonna fuck with you right now. This is where, as a comedian, we pivot and we keep moving on. It's all right, man. I was talking about my kids. I love my kids. Uh, so my, I, I got like a half five. I do have three biological, two of them are adopted. Um, and my adopted boys, I love them to death, but they're white. Um, yeah. Well, I figured they're gonna raise my credit score. You know, that's... That was my strategy behind it, you know what I mean? And so my youngest is 13 years old, but she's still in that daddy phase, you know, and I love it. She's like, Dad, she's like, can I have a sleepover? And I'm like, yeah, baby girl, of course. And if you ever had kids, you ever had a sleepover, it's a lot of freaking work, like a lot of work. You think it's all, they're gonna be good with their friends? No, you're like, you're on call freaking all night long. I'm like, shit. She's like, one of her friends accidentally with the bed. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make her feel better about it because I'm a comedian, you know what I mean? And so I told her about a story when I was growing up about, I was slept over at my cousin's house in Brooklyn. And my, they're my cousin's brothers, they had bunk beds. And back, back then, this was cool, because they had the, the trundle bed where it came out perpendicular, you know? Like now you see that shit in Ikea left and right, but it was cool. And I woke up and I hear water or liquid dripping. Now, my younger cousin slept on top, my older cousin slept on the, on the bottom, but my younger cousin used to sleepwalk all the time. And so I woke up and I see this, this fool go doing this. And I'm like, this fool thinks he's freaking in the bathroom right now. So I go, Michael, what are you doing? And you ever like scared someone to the point, because he did one of these, he was like, Whoa. I almost pissed myself when I see him do that shit. And of course, my cousin who's on the bottom bunk, his head was obviously against the freaking wall. It's coming down. It didn't really make that little girl feel better, but it made all the rest of the girls that were sleeping over feel a lot better about things though. It's all good. You, you all right though? I know y'all caught the last part of the show, but how did we do so far? We're good? Yeah, whose fault was it when because I want to start an argument. Whose fault was it that you guys were late? It, it was hers. Yeah, look at them pointing a the finger. 
you ain't getting no sex tonight, my guy. Have you guys, were you guys entertained? Yeah. Nah, you didn't sound like you guys were entertained. Were you guys entertained tonight? Yeah. Will you be coming back to Star Crazy? Yeah. You better, because I know where all you parked. It's all right. Listen, if you guys are on Instagram, and if you're not, you're terrorists, but if you guys are on Instagram, you can follow me at Jason Santiago Comedy. I appreciate you, and all the comics appreciate you. I want to bring Tom back up here. He's going to kick us off and, and end the night with us. But thank you so much. We'll be outside to take pictures with you, want to talk to you, doing all that stuff. But thank you so much. I appreciate you. Good night, and God bless.